Hey guys, welcome back to my shed and today we're going to be continuing to build the balsa wood FT spear. Just a little recap on what we did last time is that we got the hatch fitted, fitted quite nicely and then we managed to get these ribs attached. It took a little bit longer than I expected but um, it is a good start and we're going to get moving on to the next step. So I think what we're going to try and tackle today is it is very thin on the edge here and we need to stick what is a winglet onto uh, the end like that. So we need to build up this end a little bit. I'm thinking about extending the spar all the way through to the edge and then building up a flat surface that I can glue the winglet onto. I'm also going to look at giving the um the front and or the leading edge a little bit of a sand and we're going to try and figure out actually how to get the fpv uh, fpv gear situation going Okay, so we have managed to get that right. We've extended the spar all the way through to the end. And then if you have a look around here, it's now much thicker. And we have something to mount the winglet off of. I haven't managed to get anywhere towards looking at the um, FPVZV mounting station, but that's okay. We'll look at that at a little bit of a later stage. If you're watching carefully in the time lapse, you would have noticed that there's been a bit of a boo-boo. Um, I've damaged the right-hand side wing. It actually got stuck to the desk over here um, using the super glue. But that's alright. I managed to just patch it up and hold it together there. And it's still as rigid as ever. I've used two bits of 5 mil square balsa just to add... Let me focus the camera there just to add some extra strength over here and all the extra bits have been added on this has been now sanded to profile as well as we have the end bit of the on the mounting point of the um, winglet put together this is all very exciting but now we need to start and make the winglets which is going to be quite cool I think okay so here we are, let me just shift the light a little bit so we can get a better, clearer view. Um, we're going to be using this template, which is the original template from the FT Spear. And we're going to be making the winglet out of that. Now in order to save weight, we are going to 
um, have this all hollowed out inside here. But the way to make sure that these thing, this is big enough is we're going to do exactly the same as we did with the base plate of the wing that we were making out of 2mm bolts. Is that we're going to get the width right and then we're going to just cut it, shift it up and stack it on top and just glue the, the edges together in order to make it work. Um, yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult to make, should be quite simple, um, the goal is to make sure that it is as light as possible, um, as well as making sure that it is still strong enough to support us while we're flying. Just a quick update, um, I have now sketched in the borders of where are the cutouts for this piece. Um, so I'm going to go ahead now and cut all these little bits out and then we will have a light winglet and then we need to make another one for the other side. Cool, so now we have the two winglets made and those are ready to be covered in monocoat at some point. Um, I think they're looking pretty good. They are a fraction flimsy, um, so I may add one more bracing piece up vertically. Um, hopefully it won't need that, but I'll have a look at that in a little bit. Um, the next step though we are going to be looking at is trying to get the first person view system set up. I'm going to do it slightly differently I think to the way it's done on the original Spear in that I want to try and add the FPV transmitter and the video feed out wide. Um, so we'll just have space for a GoPro and for the, um, the onboard camera. Uh, so that's yeah, that's what we're going to be looking at doing next. I just need to try and figure out how exactly I'm going to go about doing that. But yeah, let's have a look. Let's see what we can do and figure it out. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got already on the stock standard foam board FT Spear. You'll see this area here is where all the cameras are loaded. This is the strap for my GoPro and this is the, um, the FPV camera running into my rush tank video transmitter and through the pagoda to the goal is to shift this as far out on one of the wings as possible minimizing interference and hopefully increasing video quality the goal is though on the balsa one is to try and minimize the area that this takes up just to try and decrease aerodynamic drag and things like that it might be a minimal advantage but any advantage is always a good idea um so yeah the wiring will have to be redone through the wings and things like that but we're trying to make sure that we're getting as minimal uh, frontal surface area as possible. I just need to figure out the smallest possible size that we can create this and then we'll put it onto the balsa plane.
Okay, so we can see that it's been installed now for the most part. So what happened was I took a bit of 5 mil balsa and extended it out from its anchor point on the strong box. And then I created two shapes pretty similar to this one. And I just angled them up so that we'll have a smooth transition up to the top. They're not 100% square. They're not 100% perfect, but I think they'll do the job. The last thing I need to do in order to make sure that we don't lose too much aerodynamically is I'm going to create an angled piece that uh, swings up just to the base lip here and it'll be at about a 45, 50, 60 degree angle just to make sure that it sits um, quite nicely and it'll just show a little bit of an FPV box. Um, they are also inset on the supports so we should have a pretty strong system. I mean, you could pick the whole airplane up by it at this point, and it has a little bit of a flap, so it's all good. Um, I think we're just going to carry on and make sure that it is ready to go. So that completes the FPV um, station in the front of the plane. There is a slight angle to the um, backboard. Hopefully that'll decrease a little bit of drag. You don't have one big flat board in the front. Um, yeah, it's made out of 3mm birchwood ply, um, which is quite a lot stronger than the balsa wood, but I figured in the event of me deciding to fly it into the ground, it will be a little bit more resilient. Perfect. Um, the next step is to get a little bit of sanding going on. I want to make sure that this underneath bit is a bit flatter and there is a couple of bits on the back end here that need to be sorted out and we need to smooth the junctions in between the leading edge and the makeshift ribs as well as the top of the ribs and the spar on both sides. So we're just going to have a little bit of a sand and that will be us for today. Okay, well that's it for today. Uh, just to recap, we managed to get the two winglets done. Those are looking like they're just about ready to go on. Again, I'll think about uh, whether I need to add a bracing structure in this area just to make sure that it doesn't bend too much. But they do seem to be okay. I'll have a look at it um, next time. We also managed to get quite a way with sorting out the end bits on the wing on which the winglets will mount just a quick observation they will mount and glue on like that okay and then we did manage to get all sorted with the fpv pod area and things like that as well as a quite a bit of sanding you would have seen in the last time lapse we cut this a little bit short it's uh, not perfectly flat but i mean it'll do the job and we just managed to shape the nose bits again, as well as trimming off the back here. So these are nice and flush and all the sand, all the ribs now are nice and tight. Um, so they should create a smooth airfoil when we add the monocoat on. But yeah, that'll be it for today. The next episode, we're going to start looking at placement of electronics and building the power pod and just trying to figure out where everything's going to go. Um, and from there, then it's on to the monocoat and the first flight, the maiden. Let's see how it goes. Ciao, see you in the next one. Oh, and 
If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It really makes a difference. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Ciao.